It's your girl Alex Denise. And if you are new, go hit that bell and subscribe. And if you return, hey, what's up? How you doing? Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So today we're gonna be talking about stepping away from comfort in order to grow. Stepping away from comfort in order to grow. I'm gonna let y'all sit with that. I'm gonna let y'all sit with that real quick. Okay, because I feel like that's, that was enough said. I feel like that was enough said, but we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. One thing I have learned in the last two years, being comfortable is not going to get you nowhere. I'm going to put it out there. Some people like to be comfortable. Some people like to be in that stage of, comfort of comfortability. Is that how you say it? Comfortability? Girl. Um, anywho. Some people like to be comfortable. Some people don't, don't, don't want to step outside their comfort zone. And if that's not you, you on the right video. If that's not you, you, you here, we here, and you're tuning into the right video. Because I learned that being in your comfort zone it's keeping you in your comfort zone. It's keeping you in a bubble. It's keeping you on that same level. It is. In order to grow, you have to do some things that you're not going to be comfortable with doing. You're going to have to go places that you're not comfortable going. When you're in a level of comfort, that's just what you're at. You're comfortable so you're not going to try to push past it because you're comfortable in that zone. You're comfortable comfortable in that space. So you don't feel the need to push past it. But where is that getting you? Where is that getting you? Where is that getting you? You know what I'm saying? I know for me, I was like, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. But I'm not comfortable doing it. That was my words. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable doing that. You're going to let being uncomfortable stop you? You're going to let being uncomfortable stop you? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no bacon. Because I was that person. I don't want to do nothing out of my comfort zone. I want this. And I see, I can see myself doing that. But I'm not comfortable doing that. And it was just like, yep, you said it. You said it, so that's where you at, where you at. Let's just be real about it. That's where you're stagnant. That's why you're in a standstill. Because you're not willing to take the leap of faith to get, to take the leap of faith and be uncomfortable for a season. You're not willing to take that leap of faith and be uncomfortable for a season or two. I know. It can be hard. <laughs> it can be hard knowing you want something, but knowing you have to step out of that zone that you're in to get there. But baby girl, boy, whoever watching, I'm here to tell you, you got to get out. Being comfortable, you're limiting yourself. You're limiting yourself from accomplishing more. Speaking of that, that just reminds me of T.D. Jakes. He was T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes. He was preaching. His word was unlock your limitations. That was, that was the title of his word. And the verse he was referring to was Luke, I want to say 5, 1 through 10. Let me double check. Yeah. So Luke 5, 1 to 10 um, is what T.D. Jakes was referring to and about the fishermen on the boat. Wasn't catching nothing. They wasn't catching nothing. And Jesus told them to drop their net. They dropped their net and who? And who? They had fishes. 
bitches on top of bitches that they were on boat was sinking. And what he said that stuck out to me, TDJ said, you, you was in a shallow area. You was in a shallow area. It's time for you to go to the deep end. This, that's what he said. He said you was in a shallow area, but now it's time for you to go into the deep end. And that's just, that is just what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, being comfortable, you're in that shallow area. You're in that area of comfortability. But in order to grow and to order to get more out of life and then seek more of what you want, will seek more of your vision, seek more of what God has planned for you, God, um, God vision for you have to go into deep end. It's scary. It's uncomfortable. But you have to go. You have to go in order to get what you're seeking for. Get what God has what God has for you. You can't stay afraid on the shallow end and expect it to just blow to you. No, baby. I'm here to tell you no, baby. Get out. Stop being comfortable. You're not going to grow being comfortable. You're not going to grow being in an environment where you know that that none of these people are for me no more. You know this place is not for me no more. But I'm comfortable here. You're not going to grow. You're not going to grow at a job where you literally crying yourself to just to get through the day. Crying yourself to just... Crying yourself to just to just be there and literally draining yourself physically and mentally and physically and emotionally. You're not going to grow, but you're comfortable. You're comfortable about that job. I've been here for five years. It, it, it is what it is. You're comfortable. I want to become this, but I know this job. I know the ropes. I know the routine. I know the schedule. You're comfortable. You're not going to grow. So go into that deep end. Go, go. Take that step to force yourself to go into the deep end. And see. See what's out there. See what's out there. And when you fail, that don't mean you run back to your comfort zone. That don't mean run back to what you're familiar to. If you run back, you're getting yourself nowhere. You're going nowhere. I know it's I know every one of us that's watching is has that person or has that place or has that thing or whatever it is that you are so comfortable with that you know as soon as you go out a little bit, if you feeling down, if you feeling like I can't take this, you're going to go right back to that person, right back to that thing, right back to that environment. And it's, and it's like, what was the point? What was the point for you to just fall back into those areas of comfortability? No. No. If you know you can run back to it every time, you're going to feel like you don't really have to put the work into it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel like, okay, I'm going to try it, but I know that if I feel, I could go back where I'm comfortable at. Why would you want to think like that? Let that failure be a lesson. Because I always say that. It's not a failure, it's a lesson. Let it be a lesson and let it mold you to go deeper. <laughs> Let it mold you to seek more, get more knowledge, get more understanding, and try it again. Or say, that wasn't for me, let me go to here. But don't go back to what you're comfortable to. People love to say, I just want to grow. I want to be this. I want to be that. But they're still in, they're still where they're comfortable at. Still in their own zone. In that shallow end. And they're not ready to go into the deep end. They're scared. It can be very scary to step a, step away from what you're comfort, what you're used to. To step away what gives you comfort. To step away from that. It can be scary. But if you're willing to if you want to grow, are you willing to do it? Are you willing to go into the deep end? Are you ready to unlock your limitations? Are you ready to see, see the person God has called you to be? Are you ready? 
You can say you're ready all day, but staying in that zone ain't going to get you nowhere. Staying in that same mindset not going to get you nowhere. Okay? So that's my, what I want to tell you guys. If you're in the shallow end right now, go on there, girl. Go ahead and get to that deep end. You got it. You got it. Don't worry about what's going to come, what's going to happen, what's going to play out, how it's going to play. You just put your work in. You just do the swimming. You just do the swimming. And set yourself free from those limitations. You got this. Don't let that comfort zone hinder you. Don't let being comfortable stop you from growing. Make that decision up in your mind. I am done. I am done being comfortable. I want more out of life, so I'm going to go get more out of life. Like I said, some people some people love being in that comfort zone. If that's you, this video ain't for you. But if you are willing, ready to seek more and to grow more, this is for you. Okay? I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. I hope, I hope you're going to start swimming, girl. I hope you're going to start swimming. All right? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know anything else you guys want me to talk about. Speak on anything like that. See more of me doing. I got you. Just let me know. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. Because if you ain't on my TikTok, let me stop, y'all. <laughs> Let me stop, because I'll I be slacking with the posting, but I don't be slacking on the posting on YouTube. I might be slacking on my other stuff, but not here. All right? Okay. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Okay? All right? Bye.